In today's video, we will be recapping week two of the Royale League, AKA Ranked Super Animal Royale. Click on the link in the description if you'd like to play or watch. Clip number one from game number one, Extensive Axolotl beats last week's demons to take the first win of the week. But now things are starting to get spicy. Five players remain. Everyone with almost their perfect loadouts, I would say. Extensive Axolotl armor swapping from two to one. Shots on the road by the Deagle. Luna lands one, Luna lands two. Luna on the south side now. Three players on the south side. Meru, Luna, Wiki face. One shotgun shot lands, two shotgun shot lands. They didn't know about the armor swap and Meru does go down. Four players left. Trihux, I would say, is in the best position with this BCG. No, because extensive Axolotl, like an absolute psychopath, runs them down with the Jag. Winky Face taking one shot at Luna. Does not land. Luna's going to be so low HP. Winky Face takes the kill. One versus one situation. And extensive Axolotl corrects the mistake from last week. In last week, in week number one, extensive Axolotl lost. The 1v1 in the final circle to Muffles. But this week, they correct the mistake and they take the victory in game number one. Instinct uses great positioning to collect their first win of the Royale League. Four players remain. Zai taking out Mayhem on the bottom side. Three players remain. We have Instinct. We have Lapita. And we have Zai. Zai is going to be a quarter HP, but managed to step away safely momentarily. Zai would need a miracle here. Thomas gun. Wow, Lapita missing a ton of shots there, but isn't going to get punished immediately. BCG is the perfect weapon for the situation. Lob the nades from afar out there. Silence pistol, one last egg. Instinct's actually almost having a chance to lose there, but does pull it out. Two clip, two claps, and a T pose. And Instinct is going to be finishing in that one slot with four kills. Lapita with six in second. Absolutely fantastic showing from Lapita. And that is definitely going to reflect on the leaderboard. Even though Katie goes on a great run, Jester puts her down and wins his first game of the Royale League. All six players at the south side. No one deciding to chill and play slow. Everyone is thirsty for kills. Triox takes down Rookie. Rookie... Does die with a few kills though. Katie face to face with Localize. Both players reloading their guns. Still trying to reload the guns. Nade, big bounce. Localize one HP. Does Katie decide to get aggressive with it? Katie still trying to reload. Trying to tape up. Localized resident does go down to Katie. One versus one situation. And Katie, even though they played a masterful five kill game, does go down in the second slot. Congrats to Katie on dropping the most kills in a 41 person competitive lobby. But also congrats to Jester, who did pull a three kill victory. <laughs> Judge Bill disrupts an entire end game lobby with his sniper, giving MCAL an easy win. Zai sees that Rain is one HP, is gonna need to be able to finish him off. Gets a tape safely, kinda gets pinged through that wall. Wow, takes a kill on Rain! And we are to a top four situation. Coming face to face with Rookie, face to face with MCAL and holding their on. Judge Bill looking so low. Zai can steal a kill on the Judge Bill here and that will be absolutely huge for their points. Ooh, gets their tape sniped off last second. That's so dangerous. Judge Bill accidentally snipes. Dude, Judge Bill created such chaos in that final circle. Sniping Rookie down to one HP and sniping off Zai's armor not shooting MCAL and allowing them to kill the rest of the players in the lobby and kill them. And MCAL, who was the Reaper of week number one with the highest kill game at eight, beats their own record in week number two and drops a first place with nine kills. Next, our first player of the Royale League hits Diamond. Oh my God, Zai did it. Second place, three kills. Zai is our first ever player to hit the diamond rank. After a weird turn of events, Bing picks up what looks like a free win. Players looking low, Bloodwitch, 1 HP, Luna and Bloodwitch, another trade in the south side of the circle. MKL versus Rookie, MKL is in big trouble here. You do not want to be across the scope from a Rookie sniper. Trying to creep, trying to play as quiet as they possibly can, MKL. Sneaking around Ruki, comes face to face, both land a sniper shot, and this is an absolute sniper battle versus two French legends. 
Rookie kind of getting third party. Whoa, very interesting play here by Rookie. Wow, MCAL and Rookie kind of just both. What an interesting game. Rookie going all the way out into the zone to start to heal. MKL decides that killing him is more important than doing anything else. So both run and both die into the storm. And Bing is able to take a full HPW on that last player in the circle. Extensive Axolotl finally trips after having a day of good performances and gives their opponent a free win. With Eddie, Rookie actually snags that kill away from Zymuth. And it's going to be a four-player situation. Coming face-to-face -face did not break the full armor, which means Rookie is actually going to go down in that 1v1. It was not able to take the full armor. It only took two full uh, two pieces of armor instead. One good play state does take down Zai, and it's the Asian player versus the Extensive Axolotl for a win. Both players meleeing. Extensive Axolotl getting flustered in the final circle and throwing what seems to be another free victory. This game secures our first ever back-to-back -back Royale League wins. Instinct somehow drops that kill to a 1 HP Slender. Zeb and Slender are face-to-face. Rookie sitting at a quarter HP. One shot will do it. Rookie doesn't even know that one shot will do it. Oh my gosh, Rookie missing three point playing shotgun shots on his own ping. Still doesn't know that Slenderman is 1 HP. Cannot lose out on this kill, but yes, they will lose out on this kill because they're still not killing them. One, two, Zai finally takes down Rookie, and our Asian player takes down Zai because she couldn't start healing fast enough. One of the strangest final circles that I think we have seen in either week of our ranked uh, league. Our next clip shows one of the nastiest clutches that we have seen so far in both weeks of the Royale League. Very interesting tactic. Starts taping up. We'll see if Mkel is going to grief the entire game. No, Mkel is going to decide to play center circle. Intelligent play by them. Let's see if they can make anything out of it. Extensive Axolotl and Mkel. Extensive Axolotl does not even shoot a bullet. Rookie finally on the rotation gets two shot. And honestly... I was about to say, and honestly, this feels bad for Rookie, who has no chance to win. But Rookie being Rookie, somehow clutches up with true one HP and takes down MKL. MKL with another side caught it game with an absolute monster kill. Tying their record of nine kills in one game. Rookie, though. MKL looked like he was going on another Reaper run, but instead gets shut down by first time winner, Apple Sox. Into a quad, and MKL is doing what he does back, absolutely slaying out in this last section of the map, dropping a fifth kill in the last 15 seconds. That absolutely needs to be a YouTube short alone. Apple Sox taking down Judge Bill, being one HP. MKL trying to stuff him with the shotgun from long range, not gonna land. MKL knows that that Bing kill is low, finally goes and catches him after taping. And this is a 1v1 situation. MKL, one versus one situation. Full HP, full armor to one armor with some missing HP, but no, Apple Sox is going to finally shut down MKL who had eight kills and almost tied themselves again with a third nine killed game. But they will get stopped in their tracks and get set with an eight kill second place. And I think that will be Apple Sox first ever win in the ranked league. So congratulations to them. This end game had enough eggs to feed a village. Check it out. Um, BCG as well. So several BCG players on the map, three BCG players out of four actually. So there is gonna be a lot of eggs Flying across the map here, as three out of four players are all throwing their eggs across the map. This is an absolutely wild finish. I don't know if we've ever seen an end game quite like this. Look, six, seven, eight egg splatters all on the floor, all at the same time. Except that Axolotl evading each one perfectly so far, bringing out the eggs. Needs to just try to keep them short range, max ranging them all out of the circle. Rookie fighting in the center with Bing, but that allows extensive Axolotl to come and pick up another kill and the W in the center of the circle. Extensive Axolotl, a victory with three kills. Rookie with four in second, being seven kills in third place. In our next clip, the King finds himself back on top. By them, armor swap for Mega. Mega trying to make it last as much as he can. Four players remain. Rookie not even fighting for any fights at all. Missing uh, Instinct three times. Instinct is actually accidentally gonna die to the gas. 
Default is trying to spam eggs into the room. Default giving Ruki and Mega a chance to shoot off each other's armors. But the problem is, Mega didn't land a single bullet. And we're gonna see another Ruki versus Default Otter final circle. And this time, Ruki is gonna get the W. If you guys remember, we played another game in which Ruki tried to run into the right side research and take down Default Otter before going down to the gas. And it was unsuccessful in Default Otter 1. But this time they are gonna get the revenge and actually be able to take down Default Otter and get the victory. How many kills does Ruki finish with here? Ruki's gonna finish with four kills. Our next highest kills was Judge Bill who played very well there with the uh, Jag and Sniper. And we only have, gamers, probably one or two games left. Rookie finishes week number two with a back-to-back -back ranked League W. Bill, Judge Bill, great shotgun shots, does take down Luna right after that. Timberfox healing out in the open. Rookie normally would land those shots and punish that, but not today. Two players fighting in the bottom right. It is MKL and Judge Bill. Judge Bill does not realize that Rookie is so, or MKL is such a low HP. Face-to-face, -face, MKL does get dropped by instinct. Timberfox and Judge Bill about to go face to face. No, he turns around, doesn't even realize. Meru on the top side. Instinct still 1 HP. Do they not have any heals? No, look, they just finally grabbed some heals. Judge Bill's shotguns down. Instinct, Rookie, Jag, two shots. Judge Bill, top three remaining. Stoke goes down to the super gas, and here we go. One shot, two shot. Timberfox does go down. Will Rookie win the last game of session number two of the ranked league? Ranked league week two. Final game. Shots for shots. Meru second place and Rookie is going to win the final game. In a shocking turn of events, we find out that the ranked points had been bugged. So, a ton of players shifted around the leaderboard. Take a look at the new leaderboard. Alright, it looks like there was a bug, so we're going to come back to potentially some uh, ranked changes next week. As you can see, after the fix, players got moved up and downwards dramatically, with only two players retaining the diamond rank going into week number three. One more time, congratulations to this week's Reaper of the Week, MKEL, with another 9-kill game, and this week's MVP, Extensive Axolotl, for gaining an insane amount of points and having high-level performances.